Hey, what's going on YouTube? I uh, just want to share what I recently got in the mail today. I finally got my deck boxes from Gemtech Accessories in their collaboration with Calls of Brain Games. Um, and yeah, I already opened it out of the box. Um, and first impressions, if I were to take a look at it, I think they look awesome. Um, for whatever reason, I was thinking they were going to have more of like a suede texture in the sense that it was going to mirror that of the playmats, but I'm actually way more glad the way it turned out. Um, it still has a little bit of a roughness to it, like a nice little, um, a nice, a nice little brush feel, um, good texture on it. The color I think came out really nicely. Um, I have the gray one here just to kind of show you exactly how it looks in comparison to it. Um, this was the original one, the one without the, uh, without the stitched edge. Um, more or less, it still looks the same. I just kind of have it here as like a computer desk, uh, a computer mat of sorts. Um, but all in all, the color basically looks identical. If anything, it's a little lighter. Same thing can be reciprocated here. Um, uh, let me see if I actually have a brown with me. Uh. For reference, this is the brown, right? Uh, this is a little bit more brown, whereas this is a little bit more tan. Um, I think the picture here is pretty accurate of how it's supposed to look. Um, but out of the box, right out of the gate, if you wanted to see it, it essentially looks like this, right? This one was for this one here. Um, pretty typical style of how Gemtech ships out their boxes. Nothing special there. It has a little bit of a blurb on the back if you wanted to read that. It's more or less same thing with the gray one, right? Uh, slightly different. It has a little bit of a different design. Color is a little bit different. Same kind of blurb on the back as well. Um, when they shipped it, these dividers came separately in the box. They were just kind of floating loose. Not a big deal. Um, but they mirror exactly the icons you see on the classic Spellground playmat. So I haven't opened it up myself. I just kind of took it out of the box. Um, but by and large, I love the brown one. I think it came out super awesome. Um, in the past with Gemtech accessories, I've noticed that some of the quality control has been a little iffy for some of my products, i.e. like um, some of the, the, the text going across a box would be like slanted, for example, right? But out of the gate, I don't see any issues here. Um, there's a little bit of glue there, but uh, it's nothing you can even see on camera and it's not something I can take care of. So uh, it'll be an easy fix for me. So opening it up reveals that right there. Just, well, the texture inside is more of like a canvasy material. Um, the screen print I think came out really well. It's textured sitting on top of the material, but I think it looks awesome. Moving the paper. Right buy it in self oh look at that inside it already comes with two there I, I'm, I'm wondering if this one's perhaps missing two and that's why they kind of ship it separately um, the trays pretty standard All right nice little flip up the canvas material remains inside here I think this box came out absolutely amazingly. Like I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, I think it's better than their tumbled leather, um, their tumbled pleather rather. Uh, I think this looks way better and it feels way better. Um, just to kind of give you a comparison, this was their tumbled leather box, right? Which I still think came out great, but if I were to compare the feel to this, to this, it's like night and day. This one, like I said, has that canvas material, whereas if you were to look at the inside of the tumble leather one, uh, come on, it's more of like a matte plastic finish. So I really much enjoy how the grails came out. Okay, and just for clarity, let's take a look at the other box here. Ah, oh, yes, okay, so this one was missing two dividers, so by and large, these two here belong in this box. And the, even though they ship separately, these came up fine. They're like they're pieces of plastic, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't harm it at all. Um, same thing with the canvas material inside. The printing I think looks really good. It gives it that rustic feel, and it just it looks awesome. 
a um, little bit of fraying on the little edges here, but that's kind of what happens when you work with fabric. I don't think it's a deal breaker. It's something you can probably trim out if it really bothers you. It doesn't bother me per se unless it starts really unf un unfraying. So we'll let it go when it time comes. And yeah, dice trays remain the same. I It's awesome. Like I think this one's super solid, but like the tan is insane. Uh, just to kind of give a reference of how a deck would fit inside. Um, let's take a look, see here. Yeah. Let's open that. All right. So I wouldn't say this is, this is give or take about a hundred, uh, double sleeve. So perfect fit in addition to um the over top sleeve um with a divider in let's say we'll just throw it in there as well see how it fits all right and i'd say that's a perfect fit right not a lot of pressure still super easy to take out if need be but it's enough pressure keeping the cars together so they won't unfurl and curl up again on the other side um i really don't know how many cars this is but it's it's quite a fair amount and it just goes in like that absolutely no concerns whatsoever so by and large i think this came out way better than anticipated and i am absolutely not upset with waiting the amount of time it took um, i think that more products should be tested like this and you know ultimately the the finished product is is what makes it uh, is, is what makes the wait worth it and by no means do i think this has miss, missed the mark at all so it's it's an awesome product all right um so i just want to give oops a little blurry here so i just wanted to give a little quick rundown of what i thought about uh the new collaboration between gemtech and Calsa brain games and uh i i think they hit the mark on in every sense of in every sense of it so keep it up and uh i hope you guys enjoyed the little over here